Come on and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Thank God for the ministry of music. Thank God again for all of you, my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, and to all of our visitors and friends that have come from near and far. We thank God for you. A couple of observations I want to make before we get to the word of the Lord. Thank you. Honor so much. Amen. We're going to um, ask us to be mindful that our next Sunday is Fifth Sunday. We don't have worship service on Fifth Sundays. And so I'm asking us to be mindful that we will not be here next Sunday morning. We'll see you all again on the first Sunday in August. And also asking for special prayer for Reverend Greg Walls, who's in the hospital at Auctioner in Slidell, asking for us to pray for the Lord to touch his body, to bless his wife, his children, in time of sickness. And to the sons and daughters of this ministry that are not able to come to the house of God because of sicknesses and illnesses, we're praying for the Lord to touch and recuperate them. Also, praying for this church, asking us to gird the loins of your mind and to stay on the wall. I encourage us to know this, and I know this without a doubt in my mind, that the church is under attack, and it's not the walls not brick and mortar it's us the devil is trying to attack and destroy and I encourage you to hold on to your faith in God don't let go don't let the world change you don't let the world hoodwink you bamboozle you fool you don't don't fall for the con that the devil is trying to play before us but you got to stand your ground you got to know him for yourself you got to know him same way you know your name, you, you know your address, you know your birthday, you know your age. You got to know who God is, especially in times like these, because the devil is attacking us. But I give you the encouraging word. The Bible says, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. The Bible says that we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We are more than overcome us. And I want you to know, hold on to the word of the Lord. Songs that you sing, the prayers that you pray, pray them as unto the Lord. He's nigh unto thee, even right now, he's nigh. And as I'm saying these words, I feel it in my spirit. There are some in here today, really, 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 I'm talking about really, I know I need a breakthrough, I need a miracle, but I'm not the only one. Don't be afraid to reach out. And touch the Lord. Don't be afraid to ask him. Don't be embarrassed. I need some help. It's me standing in the need of prayer. I need you to fix what's broken in my life. Just ask him. He's here this morning. And as I finish this announcement, I want us to know I'm leaving, uh, going to, I uh, have to go to the, they have a blind rehab in Biloxi, Mississippi at the VA complex. You know, I'm getting some uh, extended care and treatment for my vision. I do this normally every three to five years. It's time to go, so I'll be leaving Wednesday. There is a complex that I stay during the week and come home during the weekend, on the weekends. And so y'all pray for me, for God to bless and touch. The Lord is so good to me, blesses me with the tools and the resources I need to try and live as an independent life as I possibly can. I do what I can. I can't do what I used to do. But you know what? I don't even worry about it no more. I should do what I can do and be happy. Amen? Happy. I just want to be happy. And so remember me in your prayers when you go on your knees to, for the Lord to touch me, to bless the doctors that I'll be seeing, the nurses, all the things I need to help me. I'm asking you to pray for me. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, honey, if you don't mind, there's just one more song I want you to sing. And I want you to at some point get on the organ and help me this morning. But that, that James Cleveland song, uh, 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 what's that song that he sang, Glad as the Night Took and, and, and 
she sang it too. Uh, Jesus is the best thing ever happened to me. Y'all remember that one? All right, he the best thing. Hallelujah. Just give us a teaspoon, Brother Hunter, if you don't mind. Thank you, Jesus. This is my hymn of preparation this morning. God bless you. If anyone should ever write my life story, For whatever reason there might be, you'll be there between each line of pain and glory and glory. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. If anyone should ever write my life story for whatever reason there might be I was lost, but Jesus came and he found me. Oh, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened. Oh, Jesus is. The best thing that ever happened to me. Hallelujah. Thank God good. There's a sweet spirit in this place. And not a doubt in my mind. It's the spirit of our true and living God. Before I get to the word, I forgot to uh, let y'all know I have watermelons loaded up in my truck outside. And I have 20, I believe. Now, if you don't get one today, remember the next time. But that's the best I could do for today, amen? So see me on your way out of here when, I, when, I leave, when we leave and give me a chance to get to the entrance of the church. And out there, I need someone to help me. I think uh, Cameron, that Cameron sitting over here? Cameron, can you help me this morning? Bless these saints of God with a watermelon and... Maybe someone else can help him. Thank you, Jesus. This is the word I read into our hearing this morning from the 53rd chapter of the book of Isaiah. Chapter number 53, verse number 1. Isaiah chapter number 53, verse number 1. And it reads, who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of God revealed? And we humbly use for a thought this morning. God is too good not to believe. He's too good not to believe. Isaiah, the prophet of God, proclaimed this word of the Lord to the hearers of God and asked them a question. 
who will believe the report that I have as a prophet of God to bring a prophetic word to the Lord to you or to us who will believe it and it is against a backdrop in time that we're living in right now for there are many and God forbid no one in here this morning that would say I don't believe in him I don't believe in God I don't believe in none of that stuff about the Bible but I don't believe that Jesus is the resurrected Savior. I don't believe in none of that stuff about God being the true and wise and awesome God that works miracles in the lives of people. But blessed be the name of the Lord, there are those of us that do. And so the question that he asked us today, the prophet Isaiah, who hath believed? Who of us will receive the word of the Lord? For he included other prophets when he said our. Let us know, saints of God, we're not by ourselves. There may be those that could care less about who and what we believe as children of God. But there are many, there are many, 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 many who believe as we do. And that is the question that the prophet asked us this morning. For he says, who? And I raise my hand and I say, I do. I believe in him. For he said, I was for Isaiah had contemporaries. There were other prophets such as Jeremiah and Nehemiah and Ezra and Ezekiel. There were other prophets that preceded him and came before or came after him. And they gave us a mind something of the same kind of report where the times that we're living in, there are those that doubt God. There are, those, there are those that would not believe in God. But I'm so glad today, aren't you glad today? I'm so glad today that there are others like us that will take God for his word and believe and know that it is because of him that we're here today, today, and that miracles God has worked in our life. And we know that if God does not do it, it's not because he's not able to do it, but we believe that he can anyway. For if he do, if he don't, I'm not going to change my mind. For he's too good not to believe. Somebody ought to say thank you. For there are are reports that we read in the word of God. And if we know something of Abraham, how God told this man to gather all that you have. And I got a promised land that I'm going to give you and all of your descendants, the land flowing with milk and honey, houses that you didn't build, vineyards that you didn't plant. And I'm going to bless you and I'm going to bless you and I'm going to bless your seed. And blessed be the name of the Lord we have been grafted in by the blood of Jesus. I might not be Jewish, I might not be Hebrew, but I'm a child of God. Just like you. And I'm so happy today. For the report that we read in the word of the Lord is a report of deliverance that God has done great things. On years past, the same God that did it then, come on somebody, same God that is doing it now. Same God that delivered the children of Israel out of bondage. He brought them across the Red Sea on dry land while Pharaoh and his armies were coming against them to destroy them. The Lord God Almighty worked a miracle. And they crossed the Red Sea on dry land while Pharaoh and all of his mighty men drowned in the Red Sea. And I want you to know that the Lord will do that for you today. All you got to do is believe. He'll drown your enemies, whatever your problems are, whatever your Red Sea is. God will work a miracle in your life. And he'll take all of that away. 
I'm so glad I can give us a blessed report that God is too good not to believe. Ain't God all right? Same God worked a miracle for the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. Same God that worked a miracle for Daniel in the lion's den. The same God that met the woman at the well and she believed in Jesus. Same God uh, that touched the woman with the issue of blood. Hallelujah. She made up her mind. This is a good report, saints of God. In the word of God, if I could just touch. Come on, somebody. Reach out and touch him. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. Somebody want to be made whole today? Do you really want to be made whole today? Do you want to be delivered today? Do you want God to work a miracle in your life today? Come on. He's too good not to believe. He's been too good for us not to believe in him. I'm so glad there was a man named Blind Bartimaeus. Hallelujah. Blind. And he asked the Lord to bless him. But he asked God, he asked Jesus a question. He was hollering and screaming. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus asked him, the same way he's asking some of us in here today, what do you want me to do that I may receive my sight? And I encourage you today, brothers and sisters, let the Lord know what you want him to do. Hallelujah. I need a miracle with my name on it. I need a touch from you, Lord, just for me. He's too good not to believe. I'm so glad today that we can witness for ourselves. I read it in the Word. I know what God has done. I know he's a miracle worker. I know he did it for them that I read in the Bible. But I'm so glad, aren't you glad today? I got my own testimony. I can talk about what God has done for me. Can I get a witness up in here? Do it all. Sunshine or rain, up or down, rough or smooth, dark or dim or bright, hallelujah. God can do it no matter how high, no matter how low, God can do it. He's too good. He's been too good for us to not to believe who he is. Ain't God all right? I encourage you today. Believe on Jesus. Touch Jesus. Ask the Lord. Let him know what you need. And as I try to conclude this message, there are those, and there were those, like that are here on this world today. Even as Jesus died on Calvary's cross, they doubted him. The miracles that Jesus worked in his ministry on this earth, there were many that doubted him. And they didn't believe. But you know what? Didn't stop Jesus from doing the work didn't stop him. Same thing is happening in our life right now. God didn't do that. That wasn't God. I don't believe that. But the devil is a lie. Who has believed our report? It's a good report talks about saving grace and the blood of Jesus. It's a good report. Talks about if we can look over our life, see what God has brought us from. It's a good report. If we put ourselves in the place of a real child of God, it's a good report. We can talk about the arm of the Lord. 
That's what Isaiah said as I conclude this message. The arm of the Lord. In other words, it represents the way of God in our life. The arm of the Lord. He'll reach this way. He'll reach over here. He'll reach behind you. He'll reach down. He'll reach up all around you. The arm of God represents his presence in our life. That's what I want to leave you with today. The arm of God is with you today. All you got to do is believe in the report. Believe in Jesus. Believe he is a son of God. Believe that he died on Calvary's cross. Come on, somebody. Somebody ought to say amen. He died on Calvary's cross. All of our sins, he hung up on a tree for every last one of them. And I'm happy to give you this report also. The Bible said that he takes all of our sins. You hear me, brothers and sisters? He cast them into a sea of forgetfulness and he remembers them no more. So glad that when they put him in the grave, the grave couldn't hold him. And I'm here to tell you today, this is a good report. Hallelujah. It's so good for us that we can't not believe that it's true. That God has worked a miracle in our life. Hallelujah. And he wants to bless us. He wants to bless you right now. I'm so glad uh, that when Jesus, he rose from the grave, he got up. Come on, somebody. He got up with all power in his hand. And he's a healer. Anybody know he's a healer? Have you healed anybody in here today? You ever known him to heal you from something in your body? And he's a way maker. Anybody know him as a way maker? He's a way maker. Hallelujah. He's protection. Anybody ever felt his protection in your life? Don't you know he's protecting you right now? Ain't God? He's a protector right now. He's a provider. Won't God provide for you? Is he providing for anybody in here this morning? Won't he provide for you when you didn't have it? Didn't know where you was going to get it from? God provided it for us. Hallelujah. And he is joy. And he is peace. He's just good like that. Come on and clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Come on and stand to your feet. God is too good not to believe. As I conclude this message, sometimes we as preachers, we don't know where we're going to get a message from. We don't know how God's going to give us a word. We don't even know. Just be praying for the Lord for a word from heaven. And I'm so happy to tell you all this testimony. I have a little sister named Alicia, whose mother is Cherry Ann. And her and her husband, Jonathan, with their oldest child, Madison, live in Georgia. She was blessed to have a newborn baby a few weeks ago. The baby was born premature. And as I was communicating with her and asking her how she was doing, talking with her, praying for her, she would give me a word to let me know just how God was taking care of her. Had premature son by the name of Victor Asher. These praying family, praying husband, a praying wife, a praying mother and father, blessed in the way of the Lord. And she told me, sent me a text with the picture, rejoicing to the Lord. He was so tiny, he couldn't come home. Had to keep him there for a while, and he came home. And as time passed by, she was telling me all the things that the doctor said he couldn't do or he might not be able to do because he was premature. 
wasn't strong enough, wasn't well enough to do this or that or whatever. But she kept on praying and she kept on believing. In one of her text messages to, the, to me, she gave me the words that I use today. She talked about all the exploits of how good God had been to her, how he had kept her when she was trying to keep herself to have this baby and how difficult it was because of the pregnancy. But she kept trusting in God. And she told me these words after she gave me the blessed report that we have delivered a son and his name is Asher Victor. Amen. And she told me in the conclusion of the text that all that God, all that God has done for me in my life, she said in the last sentence, he's too good not to believe. Come on and clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Do you feel him down in your soul? He's too good not to believe the doors of the church are open if there is anyone in here today that does not know jesus as your lord and savior have not been born again have not been washed in the blood of the lamb the doors of his church are open come give your life to jesus if you're standing in here today before we leave if there's anything on your heart, in your heart, in your soul, on your spirit that you need the Lord to do for you today, I'm asking you, you make yourself an altar right there where you're standing. Call in the name of the Lord and ask him, Lord, it's me, it's me. Come on, brothers and sisters, it's me. I need you to bless me. I need you to help me. I need you to fix me. I need you to touch me. Lord, I need you to strengthen me. I need you to deliver me. Come on, while you're standing there, bow your heads, close your eyes. It don't take God long. It don't take them long. All you got to do is believe. He'll do it for you. Just believe. Hallelujah. He's now. He's right now. He's here right now. Hallelujah. As you're standing. Come on, sisters and brothers. God will do it for you. If you let him, he'll do it for you. If you let him. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and tell him. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. It's me. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't hold back. Give it to Jesus. Give it to him. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, bless us now. Bless us now. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, as we prepare to leave the house of the Lord, go with us. Touch us. Watch over us. In the name of Jesus, bless us to reach our destination safely. And we get home, Lord, give us joy and laughter in our dwelling places. We'll be careful, oh, Lord, to give your name all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. For it belongs to you. Come on, somebody help me say thank God. Come on and say thank God. In Jesus' name, thank God. In Jesus' name, thank God, amen. Now y'all remember, come get your watermelon. When y'all leaving the house of God today, amen.